Hello and welcome back to KTech Designs. My name is Seth. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made my custom color scheme for the background, the part, and sketch colors. And with that, let's get started. Okay, so from the menu page, let's go up to Edit, Preferences, and we need to load in the Part Design Workbench and any other workbenches you'd want to change the colors of. But we'll just work with the Part Design Workbench for now. I do not have that set to Auto Load. Um, let's set that there. Say Load Now. Now we get the Part Design and the Sketcher uh, Workbench is loaded in here. We can change their settings. In the Part Design, there's nothing to change. I didn't change any of these. Uh, these are all default. Uh, in the sketcher is where I changed most of the um, colors. So I changed the create line color to blue to match what SolidWorks uses. This is by default a light gray. I changed the edge constraint for both constrained and unconstrained. Uh, this by default is a green and this is a white. So this is just black and this is a custom color I made and these are the RGB code for that. This is the same color, same RGB. Uh, that's black, and that's that purple color. And this is originally orange. This is originally red. This is originally that purple color. Um, and I changed it to green, which I, I'm sure is this one, this default green here. This one I changed to green as well, same default. This used to be a darker blue and I changed it to a, a lighter gray color. This was a tan color and I changed that to black. That's unchanged. This is the fully constrained sketch. This is the one I really wanted to change uh, before doing all of the rest of this. Uh, the fully constra constrained sketch being in black to match the way SOLIDWORKS does it. And an invalid sketch I've left orange. These two were red, and then I changed this to a, a more green, green color, <laughs> if that's the right way to say it. And then I changed this to black. The reference constraint, I changed to that same light green color. Uh, I left this orange. Oh, and that was a, a blue color. Uh, this deactivated constraint, I made it this uh, off green color. And that was a dark gray. And then these two were white, and so I changed them to a darker gray for increased vis visibility. I'm going to display, going to colors. Uh, we do want to, or I did change uh, this gradient color. So I picked a this custom gray here. Those are the RGB codes for that. And then the bottom color is just white. So to save your preferences, you go up to the general tab and here's your preference packs. Um, we can save a new one. Just select everything. I just call it custom pref pack. Okay. All right, so that's it for this video. Just a short, quick video to show how I change the uh, custom settings. And with that, thanks for watching. Thanks for almost 500 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Uh, please leave a like if you like this video. Please comment and let me know what you thought. See you next time. Bye.